Before we begin, we must first comprehend the distinction between virtual reality and augmented reality. Most people mix the two names and use them interchangeably, but they are completely distinct. A VR developer creates whole new digital settings that users can see through a device like the Oculus headset, but an Arkansas developer uses mobile apps to create a layer of digital experience in our reality, such as Pokemon Go, a game that uses this technology. As previously said, video games are not the only business that is utilizing Arkansas VR technology. Museums are also utilizing this technology to provide unique visitor experiences. When users scan art items with their cameras, one of the most prevalent uses of Arkansas is to provide information about them. Other museums are utilizing technology to show visitors how past versions of the artifacts or buildings looked. On the other hand, we may imagine using virtual reality to attend online medical training programs. Students can learn about operations and medical treatments in a realistic manner without having to be physically present in a classroom. Because there is no bachelor's degree in virtual reality or augmented reality. Alternative education, such as coding bootcamps, is popular. All they need is a basic understanding of how to create software that drives Arkansas VR experiences. When it comes to working as a VR and Arkansas developer, having a bachelor's degree in computer science is advantageous. You must be able to work with video game engines like Unity or Unreal to become an Arkansas VR developer. Both of these systems allow you to construct 3D settings. Furthermore, Arkansas VR engineers must be familiar with programming languages such as C++, CNumber, JavaScript, and Swift. As a VR or Arkansas engineer, you will be responsible for developing, maintaining, and upgrading software. As you gain expertise, you will be able to keep track of what other developers are producing. When it comes to working in the computer industry, most people focus solely on their skills to code and design software. It's important to keep in mind that this is still a people-oriented career. Soft skills development will also help you acquire a job as a VR or Arkansas engineer. Keep in mind that firms are typically searching for someone who can solve problems, think logically, and communicate effectively with other team members. Medicine having a VR developer on staff can be extremely beneficial to healthcare and pharmaceutical organizations. They can use VR-driven tools to prepare for a difficult surgery, instruct students, and research novel diseases. Students learn best through experience rather than theory, therefore VR might be a wonderful tech tool for them to learn how to act in various circumstances realistically. VR is especially useful for practicing and learning at a distance. One of the most widely used Arkansas products in the tourism industry is Google Maps Live View. People can more precisely and simply follow routes. Aside from that, Arkansas offers a new level of experience for museums, hotels, and restaurants. On the other side, virtual reality, VR, can assist travel businesses in providing their clients with a taste of what the experience would be like in other destinations. There are a number of excellent institutions that can educate you about Arkansas or VR abilities and assist you in launching your career. You may always pursue a bachelor's degree in computer science, but this will not provide you with the same level of specialized training as coding boot camps. Coding Dojo is one of the greatest places to master this skill. It will teach you all you need to know about 3D software creation as well as how to design effective VR and Arkansas applications. that we would someday be able to escape into, you know, a world that, you know, we, we leave our world, but we don't leave our world. We don't have to walk five feet to leave our world. We just have to put something over our eyes, and we are suddenly thrust into a wonderful world of someone's imagination. Mm -hmm.